this morning in Going Places, time to pack up the kids. We are taking a road trip, and our friend, mom blogger Audrey McClellan is back with us to share tips for keeping the little ones entertained while traveling. How are yes. you? I'm great. How are you? So how many road trips do you take with the kids? I mean, I, you, do, does everybody get loaded up? Because it can be tough. Yeah, we take a bunch of road trips. I mean, from swim meets to right. basketball games, you know, throughout the year, to visiting my in-laws in Pittsburgh, which Ooh, is a 10-hour long... trip. Oh, oh, and we do that at trip. least two to three times a year. That's so a long those trip. are long road trips. Yeah. And the kids don't get excited about that amount of time in the car. Uh -huh. Yeah. As no. any parent out there can imagine, yeah. and they know. <laughs> okay, so our first tip today is uh, we're going to talk about tech gadgets. Yes. I mean, I have the iPad over here. You know, we are in an age, I mean, you you know, you know with your girls, mm -hmm. all kids have gadgets, they iPads, do. phones, um, it, it, uh, gaming systems that you can take on the go. So as much as parents at home, which I'm one of those parents, you have to limit tech time. You right. don't want your kids being doing them all the time. In the car on long trips, this is a great time. Have your kids bring the gadgets. My daughter will use my phone. Sure. And let them play. Let them do everything that they want to do all day at home. Yeah. You're in a car for 10 hours to Pittsburgh. Um, oh. I, I'm charging <laughs> their devices over mine. So, <laughs> I, I mean, look, I would have solar panels on the roof. Thank sure you. I think every done. parent would understand. I mean, so obviously it's, it, it's a great go-to if you're doing right. a long road, like, right. you know, long trip in the car. Why are they towing a generator behind them? Right. I don't understand these this. It must be a parent with kids. You're in the car. You, you, you'll get it pretty quick. Uh, next thing is audio books. A lot of kids will bring regular books, but audiobooks are also really yeah, good. Yeah, and so. I love this. I mean, we'll we'll do audiobooks in the car. I mean, even right now with the Wrinkle in Time, mm -hmm. a lot of the kids in our in, the, in our generation, we read that book. Sure. A lot of the kids now, the movie is going to be their first kind of you know del delving into this story. Grab an audiobook, listen right. to it in the car. Hopefully, that will grab maybe like two three hours of their attention. Yeah. Make it an adventure, make it fun. So yeah, it's always a good thing to do. Uh, one of the other things on here, and it's, it's something that even even if you're not going on a road trip, just to bring to yeah. wherever you end up, coloring books. Yep. crayons, activity books, stuff like that. That's what I used to love when I was a kid. Absolutely. You know, it's funny because I don't have it on the table, but I did. Off camera, you would see this if we if we shot off camera. <laughs> but I always bring a tote in the car. Yes. And I fill it for my daughter with crayons and coloring books and activity books and just construction paper. So if we are even in traffic, if we are on a long road trip, you know, I'll say, let's play tic-tac-toe. You know, draw me a square or a circle right. or color in this picture. Yeah. So it is always good to have that on you all the time. Just in case yeah, you need Yeah, a little activity bag. One of the, um, another thing on here is a uh, surprise bag for the kids and I know a lot of people will do this even if they're going to Florida if they're going to yeah. Disney a lot of times people will buy some of the souvenirs yeah. here so you're not paying 75 you know dollars while you're there absolutely you know this is something you know and, and this is kind of what I meant we used to do this when the boys were younger you know we would have you know you can do bags we used to do envelopes in hour one hour two hour three I used to do that when we were heading to Pittsburgh because I knew we had ten uh -huh. so I'd always show the kids every hour we're gonna open up this new envelope or this new bag and inside either exciting. be a, a deck of cards uh, candy, you know, just some sort of something they have to look forward to along the way. Along the way. Yeah. Um, also, pack an atlas. Yeah, you know, our kids are so used to. They don't even know what it is. They really don't. They, right. they are just used to the devices. But yeah, grab an atlas. I remember I used to love, my dad would go to AAA, we'd get like the triptychs. Mm -hmm. And I used to be, I used to love as, you know, we used to be able Going to finish a page. Our kids don't know that. Right. So yeah, grab an atlas, highlight the route, and have them follow along. And now, a bonus uh, tip. Pack pillows. Pillow. Oh, yeah. This is like the unsung the hero, one. right? Yes. You know, I definitely, you know, I always say to the kids, bundle up, take a nap. It's going to at least maybe eat away an hour or two. It's going right? to be a long trip, kids. <laughs> it's going to be a long trip. Grab a pillow. <laughs> Buckle up. All right. Thanks, Audrey. Thanks, Audrey. Uh, great tips and ideas to get us going on our spring vacations.